What's up, world? It's your boy, Jay Tuck, back with another Cowboys fans only episode. So go ahead, comment, like, and subscribe. Somewhere down there, somewhere down there, somewhere down there. But before we get started, I gotta give a huge shout out, big, big, massive shots out. First to my man, Sid from the Cowboys for Life channel. You guys know that he's, he's like family. He's actually gonna be on the show tomorrow night. But huge shout out to my guy, Sid. And then also a mega, mega shout out to the Star Gang, uh, Nicks and Spoonie, man. We had a show. So if you follow me on Facebook, also on Instagram, or on Twitter, at JTuck151, I follow all Cowboys fans, back to good, to bad, to ugly. We had a great show last Wednesday night. So we actually started off on the Cowboys for Life channel with my man Sid. And then after that, we, we hit the after hour spot. So we jumped on the Star Gang's Facebook website their page and we went almost like one o'clock in the morning talking about Dak Prescott what does it mean to the future a lot of interesting content a lot of great discussion so I definitely suggest go check that out now because there was so much knowledge dropped I mean I, I had a blast so definitely check those guys out but I want to get into something a little different different okay so you know, we always talk about the season. Is it going to be a season and COVID and, and the rookie camp and mini camp and blah, blah, blah. But the one thing that is for certain in 2020, there's, there's one thing that's going to be for certain in 2020. And I, and I guarantee that. And I guarantee Madden 21 is going to come out. And I know there's a lot of Cowboys players who are like, oh, well, the Madden ratings, they don't mean that much. It, Madden ratings don't mean that much. It's just a game to you. That's because you probably get dog walked online. But if you're a Madden player like me, like me, bro, who you really roll up your sleeves and you really get active, these ratings mean a lot. And I've been looking online and trying to find some content about the Cowboys ratings for Madden 21. And there's not a lot of Cowboys insiders when it comes to Madden. There's a lot of Eagles. A lot of Eagles. So shouts out to my man Dubby. I mean, I talked to Dubby yesterday on Twitter. We were going back about Madden 21. But he's an Eagles fan. Popular stranger, Eagles fan, Giamaya's world. He hates the Cowboys. So only person I can really depend on is my man Zersky, who's a Cowboys fan like myself. So what we're we gonna do today? I'm gonna dive into some Madden 21 content for those of you out there who really care about Madden. Now I don't care about you saying, "Talk, it's just the same game. It's just the same game." But it's not the same game because if you actually play Madden, you would know it's not the same game. It's really not. And if you're really locked into Madden, especially for Madden 21, if you really know what's going on, it's not going to be like 2021 is going to be a lot different with a lot of leaks been coming out. I actually don't think they're going to ever give us a beta again because all the leaks are coming out. But there's a lot of exciting news when it comes to Madden 21 that I'm personally excited about. And if you're a fan like me, if you're a Cowboys fan like me, if you play regs, you only want to run with one team. I I'll be honest with you. A lot of people want to play me in Madden. I'm picking the Cowboys. So if you're a Cowboys fan, we're going to play Cowboys on Cowboys. I'm not playing with anybody else. But let's go ahead and get into it. So, it kind of sparked the other day, right? And I had this tweet when they came out with the 99 Club about Christian McCaffrey. He was a 99. Okay, you know, Christian McCaffrey, I'm really excited for you. I'm going to let you finish. But I really don't see the drastic seven point gap between Christian McCaffrey and Ezekiel Elliott. Now I know a lot of people cause I didn't actually expect this tweet to catch the firestorm that it did, but there were so many people. Oh, what's up? What about the passing? You know, is Christian McCaffrey bad? Okay. I get that. I get that. So they had to add that into consideration. But when you look at pound for pound running back, there's not that big of a gap between run CMZ and my guy Ezekiel Elliott. So let's break down the stats for Zeke and the rating for Zeke. So looking at the stats right here, he's going to be a 92 overall. Now, here's my problem with that. If you do watch the Madden Championship Series, what did you see a lot of last year? If you were a passer, right, then you played with the Houston Texans, right? You had Deshaun Watson, you had D. Hopkins. So a lot of the pro passers, they played with the Houston Texans. But if you like to run that ball, if you like to tote that thing, where did you come? Who did you play with? You played with Ezekiel Elliott, and you ran the stretch play out of eye close, left, right, left, right behind that massive O-line, and you got busy. 
right? A lot of the pro players, they used Ezekiel Elliott last year, right? And so what happened? So what happened after that? EA Sports, they took away Ezekiel Elliott's X-Factor ability. Yeah, they, they took it away. Just some somehow during the season, during a, during an update, it just disappeared, and Ezekiel Elliott was no longer X Factor. Byron Jones kept his, Amari Cooper kept his, and also D Law kept his, but Ezekiel Elliott's was taken away. So if you look for Madden 21, right, 90 speed, okay, that's fair. 91 um, acceleration, strength is an 80, which I think that could be a lot higher. Agility 95, 94 for awareness is fair. Catch 72, I get it. Zeke isn't used in the passing game like he should. So that's a fair observation. Carries a 91. How many fumbles did Zeke have last year? Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah. Throwing power and different things like that, it really doesn't matter. But my thing is this, when it comes to Ezekiel Elliott, he is still top three when it comes to running backs in the NFL. Men lie, women lie, statistics don't, numbers don't. And I know we had this conversation numerous times, people are trying to downplay Zeke like he's falling off, but that's not the case. If you just look from a numbers perspective, Ezekiel Elliott had a solid year last year just by his expectations, it just didn't meet up. So for Ezekiel Elliott, I felt like he should have been more in the 94, 95 range. But after kind of going through and doing more Madden research, he does have a lot of X Factor abilities, which I hope they don't take away this year, which could be impactful. Now let's go to the man uh, a controversy that everyone loves to talk about, Dak Prescott. 84 overall. 84 overall. So you, so you passed for almost 5,000 yards last year, and you're just 84 overall, and you're behind Matt Ryan. And, and, and that's what I just don't understand is, like, Dak had a solid season last year. Granted, we were only 8-8, eight and eight, and in some of those games he didn't play big, but I still think – the evaluation that EA Sports does for Dak Prescott is horrible every year. H horrible, horrible every year. 83 speed, okay, but look at his throwing power. 89 throwing power. Are you, are you, 89 throwing power? Like, like, come on, what are they doing with Dak? Look at these numbers. His agility, his awareness is only at 87. Like, like, come on. And the, the, the biggest problem that I have with Dak is his running, his throwing on the run. Like his throwing on the run is always off. His accuracy is off. Like you swear like this guy is like, you know, like a horrible quarterback. And I was like, EA Sports, what are you, what are you watching? So I feel like they, they, they modify and they bring down Dak Prescott because here's what EA doesn't want. And this is gonna be my, my gripe with EA Sports. They do not want the Dallas Cowboys to have an OP offense, right? They don't want Zeke to be a 95. You know, you're going to have uh, Zach Martin, and then you had uh, Lyle Collins, and then you have Tyron Smith being around the upper 90s on the O-line, and then you have Dak Prescott in the upper 90s, and then you have Mari Cooper and Gallup and C.D. Lamb coming in. They don't want that. But why does that only apply when it comes to the Dallas Cowboys, man? Because I'm seeing the Chiefs. I'm watching the Chiefs. Now, Pat Mahomes was the MVP last year. He wasn't even 99. He wins the Super Bowl. Granted, he's a 99 this year. But then you add on Tyreek Hill, which is a top five wide receiver on the game, with 99 speed. Mikkel Hardman has 97 speed. So that's two jet setters on the outside. And then you have Travis Kelsey. Like, that's a very vicious offense. And then you also add, add Swartz at the right tackle position. So it's okay for the Chiefs offense to be overpowered, but not the Cowboys. So I wonder, what what, what is that? Why, why can't the Cowboys be what we are? We had an offense that put up mega numbers last year. Amari Cooper had 1,000 yards. Michael Gallup had 1,000 yards. Zeke rushed for 1,300. Dak almost threw for five. Like, that. Like, it, make it make sense. So how come they get to have this OP offense, but we don't? And I get it. And I get it. EA Sports is afraid to let the Cowboys out the back. Now, granted, give the offense their props. Put the offense numbers up there, but maybe tone down our defense. If that's the case, I definitely can eat that. So you look at the top 10 for the Dallas Cowboys players. You have Zach Martin in 98, Ezekiel Elliott 92, Amari Cooper 92, Tyron Smith in 91, D-Law at 89, Lyle Collins at 87, Joe McCoy, he's a new addition, was at 85, which is surprising. 
Dak Prescott at 84, Cheeto at 83, and Van Der Esch at 83. I think we're missing somebody. I think there was a Pro Bowl linebacker last year who 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 was one of the top tiers in, in tackles last year. Where's Jalen Smith at? Jalen Smith should have been rated higher than Van Der Esch because Van Der Esch was out the majority of the season. So my question, yo, EA, EA, whoever you have doing the Madden ratings, bro, what, what are you watching? What are you watching? What is it that you're looking at? Because clearly when it comes to Dallas Cowboys football, you're not watching. And I, and I know you watch Dallas Cowboys football because the whole world does. That's why we're America's team. So I know you watch. But I feel like, you know, and I, and I said this on Twitter, I feel like the Cowboys hate, or sorry, that Madden hates on the Cowboys. Do they, they, they're just fearful of the Cowboys being OP. Because look at, look at their ratings, right? And see how, how, see how they have the Cowboys just kind of average, kind of average. Now, there are some superstar abilities hidden for Cooper and I think Elliott um, as, as well, which can always impact. I mean, if you play the game and you really know the game, the, the X factor and superstar abilities is, is really more important than the actual ratings. But, I mean, the way that I, when I play the beta, the ratings are going to have some impact because especially on the defensive side of the ball, because you can't use her like you could last year. And so if there's a huge gap from like a, a Michael Thomas and he's being covered by a, a Diggs on defense, there's going to be a, a massive gap. Like I said, I played the beta and I played Chiefs on Chiefs and the final score was 65 to 61. It's going to be just running those streaks, letting things fly, and we could not be stopped. Now, here's the thing. Here's what's crazy about all that, right? If you look at the overall ratings, you have the Saints, you have the 49ers, Ravens, okay, the Bucks, which I they got a huge, yeah, yeah, with, with Gron, Gronkowski, the Shinny Mason, and then the Cowboys. The Cowboys are 83 overall, 85 on offense, and 81 on defense. So like I said, I feel like EA Sports, they have to buff the Cowboys because they're so fearful of the Dallas Cowboys being OP and, and just blowing things out of the water because I think with our old line, that takes away a lot of the skill set players because they're afraid of us having this dominant O line, dominant running backs, dominant receivers, and a and a aware and alert and an active quarterback. So they bring us down a notch. So do I fully think that EA Sports hates the Cowboys? I mean, I don't know. I mean, if you think about it, besides Terrell Owens, we really haven't had a Dallas Cowboys player on the cover. Right? Think about that. America's team, the most recognizable team in all of sports. There hasn't been one player to be on the Madden cover. And if you're an ultimate team player like me, think you know, like when we had Troy Aikman last year, Michael Irvin was kind of eh. Emma Smith is always eh. Um, so it's always something with Cowboys players. Now, if you do the pre-order, there is a Romo card. There is a Romo card if you do the pre-order. So maybe EA Sports will finally come through and overpower Romo. You know how the escape artist, and he can do all these crazy things with a strong cannon arm, and he'll be like a, a Cowboys version of Pat Mahomes in the game. But it's doubtful. So let me know, man. Any Madden players out there, holler at your boy, man. Like I tell you, I play on PlayStation. I play on Xbox and I play on PC. So I have smoke everywhere and I'll love to get the opportunity to play against some of you guys. I will put my gamer tags down there in the link below. So go ahead, add me on PlayStation, Xbox, and also add me on Twitch, Yolo Lit Dad Fam, to watch me play Madden. I'm personally going to be pushing to become a pro player this year. So it's going to be a grind, but we're going to have fun because I believe. This might be the only football we get this year. So it's your boy, Jay Tuck. Like I'm saying, go ahead, subscribe to the channel, like, comment, share, and we'll be back tomorrow with a live episode with my boy, Sid, and we're going to dive deep into the Cowboys season. It's your boy, Jay Tuck, signing off. Peace.